Tonight I am making a great family budget meal that is easy, delicious, and you can bake all in one pan. I'm Tess, and come join me in my kitchen as I make a yummy chicken and rice casserole. These are the spices I am using to season and marinate the chicken. I have one teaspoon of adobo seasoning, quarter teaspoon of white pepper, eighth of a teaspoon of cayenne pepper, and this is optional, half a teaspoon each of garlic powder, onion powder, and thyme, and one teaspoon of paprika. For the chicken, I have six bone-in skinless chicken thighs. I trimmed most of the fat because the rice would become one mushy mess in the casserole. Covering the chicken with the seasonings and drizzling a good tablespoon or so of olive oil to help season the chicken evenly. Giving everything a good mix, refrigerating and marinating for a minimum of one hour. Overnight is even better. I have my oven preheating to 375 degrees Fahrenheit. In the bottom of my casserole, I'm adding one small diced onion, half a cup of diced bell pepper, and four large cloves of minced garlic, giving that a good toss. You can add any vegetables that you like, mushrooms, peas, carrots, celery, whatever you like. To season the rice, I'm using a quarter teaspoon each of white pepper, garlic powder, onion powder, thyme, and celery salt, giving that a toss, and then adding in three tablespoons of melted butter. Another good toss. This is one and a half cups of jasmine rice that I rinsed really well and drained. You can also use long grain rice, just sprinkling evenly over the top. Placing the marinated chicken on the top. I think the bone-in chicken thighs are the best as they keep moist and cook evenly. As the chicken cooks, those seasonings will flavor the chicken and the rice. Since we have one and a half cups of rice, we need three cups of liquid, and I'm using chicken broth. Pouring around the chicken and into the rice. It may seem like a lot of liquid, but the rice will absorb it all and help keep the chicken moist. Covering the casserole with foil and baking at 375 degrees Fahrenheit for 30 minutes, and then uncovering and baking for another 20 to 30 minutes, or until the chicken is done and the liquid is absorbed. The chicken rice casserole is done, and I'm letting it rest for five minutes. After five minutes, I'm removing the chicken and covering both the rice and chicken and letting them rest for an additional five minutes. Right before serving, take a fork and lightly fluff and mix the rice. Both the chicken and rice is loaded with flavor. The chicken thighs are nice and tender and the rice is fluffy. A delicious chicken dinner that will feed a hungry family. I hope you give this easy chicken rice casserole a try and enjoy. If you like this video recipe, please hit the like and subscribe button. Remember to hit the bell next to the subscribe to make sure that you get my future video recipes. You can also find me on Facebook and at my website. Feel free to share this recipe and my channel with your friends and family. And until next time, much love!